uh, I have a lot to say, so I'm gonna drink my water. Hello. Welcome to another video. Thank you so much for being here with me. Um, it is very windy outside. Just want to say that. So if you hear the wind, I am sorry. Not much I can do. Unfortunately, I wanted to get out for a long run today. I don't know if that's going to happen because it is so windy. Anyways, that's not what you're here for. Um, today, we're going to talk about how I save and invest money and personal finance. I know this is very different from the videos that I usually make about like health and nutrition, but I think financial health is really important. So, and that is still a part of our overall health and well-being. Um, so I just want to talk about that. Now, disclaimer, I am not an accountant. I'm not a financial advisor and I have no formal education surrounding personal finance. Just want to say that this is just personally what I have learned and taught myself in the last couple of years. I wish we learned this stuff in school, but unfortunately we don't and you kind of have to seek it out on your own, which I think is really important. I don't think we should just like go with the flow in this aspect and kind of just listen to what other people are saying. That's why it's called personal finance. It is personal and I think it's really, really important to do your own research. Especially if you're someone like me who does not have a high income and um, maybe it's a little bit harder to save money. Um, so a little backstory, I have basically always just had like a part-time minimum wage job and yeah, just like to be totally honest, just I don't make a lot of money and I never have. But I have found ways to save a lot compared to how much I'm making and invest money. Um, and just, yeah, I've just found, I think, the best way to deal with money personally. A couple of years ago, I found a podcast called Optimal Finance Daily. Highly recommend. I will link it down below. It kind of got me into the whole realm of personal finance. And since then, I have done a lot of my own research, kind of finding blogs, finding YouTube channels, finding other podca podcasts, and just learning about what is the best thing to do with my money. How can I make it work for me? I don't want to just um, be broke all the time. I want to feel empowered and feel really good about my personal finance and what I'm doing with my money. And that is something that I just had to teach myself. No one was teaching me um, and it wasn't just like readily available information. I kind of had to seek it out. But now that I've learned, I am so happy that I found this information and I feel really good about what I'm doing with my money. So I want to share that with you. Um, but like I said, make sure you do your own research and find what works for you because everyone is different. But this is just my own journey. Okay, so since I don't make a lot of money, I need to save as much as I can, which I am happy about. So quickly, some ways that I save money is I don't pay rent. I am lucky enough to live with Blaze and his mom. Um, and so we don't have to pay rent. So that's great. Obviously, everyone isn't um, able to do that. But if you are, great. Um, so I just basically don't really have a lot of bills. And what I do pay for, um, like my car insurance and my cell phone bill, I have found ways to make them as cheap as possible. Um, so for instance, my cell phone bill, I don't really need a lot of data. I don't care to be out and about scrolling Instagram. So I have just like three gigabytes of data and I have a cheap cell phone bill, which is great for me. Same with my car insurance. I have like, um, found the cheapest car insurance that I possibly can. I also have an app that tracks my driving, so I get a little bit of a discount there too if that's something that you're interested in, but you can't really speed or go on your phone, which is fine for me personally, but if that's not something you're into, then... I think the most important thing for saving money is finding what you prioritize. So for me personally, like I said, like having a lot of data, I don't really care. To, I don't prioritize that. Um, I don't prioritize entertainment or eating out or drinking alcohol. So I don't spend money 
in those areas really. Um, what I do prioritize is my health, having good organic food. Um, so I will spend more money there and save money in other ways. Um, another example is I don't prioritize buying like makeup or like certain certain luxury items like face masks things like that. I don't buy shampoo or conditioner um, so I can save money there but I do buy pretty expensive moisturizer and cleanser so those are just things that I personally prioritize so yeah just finding where your values are spending money on what you really value and saving money on things that you don't I personally don't like I said don't really value um entertainment so I don't spend money going out to the movies or on like streaming services I'm happy just to literally watch free YouTube videos so yeah um I also really enjoy free activities like hiking and biking and doing things outside so that's great for me to save money there um, so anyways, I'm not going to like talk too long about how I personally save money because everyone's going to be different and you can find your own ways of what's going to work for you and ways that you can save money. When I think about money, like I said, I don't make a lot. So I really think about purchases like do I want to buy a new pair of pants and a new sweater that's basically an entire shift of me working or would I rather have that day off? Would I rather invest the money? Um, so just being really mindful of when you're purchasing things, not to just buy it, but think of what that truly costs you. That has really helped me with saving money and yeah. Now let's talk about investing because that is so important and I can't believe we're not taught about this. I feel like for most people, if they are going to invest money, it's just through their bank. And me personally, like I'm not going to make that much money. I thought I was like capped at making like 3% a year maybe on my money, but no, mm-mm. I can make so much more and I'm so happy that I learned about this. So in doing research, I found an app called Wealth Simple. That's where I invest my money personally. I'm not sure if they expand outside of Canada, but depending on what country you're in, I'm sure you can find something like equivalent. I think in the States it's called like Robinhood. It's basically just my um, avenue into the stock market. And I know it can seem very scary, but like I said, I'm not an accountant or anything. I can hardly even do math, like basic math. And I figured this out. It's so user friendly and it's investing is really not scary. I know a lot of people get accountants and pay huge fees for that, for someone else to do it. And if that works for you, great. But I really, really think that the average person can just do it themselves. Just like doing taxes. Like I know a lot of people pay um for someone else to do their taxes and i just did mine for the first time on my own last year and it is like a lot easier than you think so i just want to say like be your own advocate and kind of learn about things first before you want to pay somebody else to do it because a lot of the time like it is a lot easier than we think so anyways back to the stock market what I personally do is invest with Wealthsimple um, so you can transfer money into Wealthsimple and then pick your stocks. So I'm not personally picking individual stocks. What I'm doing is investing with Vanguard and buying um, index funds, which is basically just an overview of the stock market. And what they do is when a company is maybe losing money or going bankrupt, they will kick them out of the index fund and bring in a new one. So you don't really need to do any work. Um, so the kind of, def I Googled the definition. This is the Wikipedia definition of an index fund. An index fund is a mutual fund or exchange traded fund designed to follow certain preset rules so th that the fund can track a specified basket of underlying investments. If that helps. I don't know. That's kind of just like the to me. 
The index funds that I've personally chosen are through Vanguard, like I said, I will read you the individual ones that I have chosen. Now, Vanguard has low fees, which is amazing. They also have a bunch of different stocks and bonds that you can choose from, which you can do your own research, you can look into them, you can pick, or if you wanna take my advice, where I have most of my money is the Vanguard US Total Market Index. So the code for Canada is V-U-N. Um, also, with well simple, if you do want to sign up, I will put my personal link in the description box below and you can get like two free stocks and I also get two free stocks, I think. Um, so that's where most of my money is if you don't want to do your own research and you just want to invest in that, great. I have been able to make over 10% on my investments a year. Um, I'm not too sure why this is not just like common knowledge. Maybe it is. Let me know. Is this common knowledge to you or where you live in your country? But here in Ontario, Canada, it's not taught and it is not conventional um, knowledge that you can just um, invest yourself and make way more money than through the bank. So yeah. So that also helps me to save money because I think like, okay, do I want to spend this $100 and it be gone? Do I want to save this $100 and just have $100? Or do I want to invest this $100 and it actually make money? Yeah, way rather do that. Um, that's basically all I want to say about saving, investing, and what works for me personally. Um, I just save as much as I can and put as much as I can into investments and let it grow. So I know the stock market always goes up and down, so I'm always trying to just like not check it and just leave it, let it do its thing, because I know I'm going to end up making way more money. Um, so yeah, okay. So if you take anything away from this video is that please just do your own research um, read blogs, listen to podcasts, don't just listen to society. So just be your own advocate, do research, um, read blogs, learn about personal finance because it is so beneficial and it feels really empowering to kind of know what I'm doing with my money and feel good about it and know that I have control and I can invest myself, I can do my own taxes, and I just feel really good about my financial well-being. And I just want everyone else to feel like that as well. So please let me know um, what you think of this video, leave me comments, um, let's chat about it, any questions, and yeah, I'm happy to answer them. I just want to say thank you so much for being here with me. Um, thank you for watching, especially if you've made it all the way to the end. And yeah, okay, cool. Should I make more videos about personal finance in my own experience? Because I can definitely talk about it more, but I just don't want this video to be like 20 minutes long. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you again. Hope you are doing well and we'll see you again uh, next week.